Welcome to this new add-on spotlight. In this add-on spotlight we're going to look at the top 5 busiest airports in Norway and we start at Tromsø uh, which is a custom airport being created uh, so you can replace the I'd say default one with one of the community uh, versions which can download of course from Flight Simula 2. So let's have a look right so this airport only has i would say one runway right you can see it here uh it's placed in the uh i would say in pretty north of uh part of uh norway so you can see a lot of details right the taxiways the uh signs are really nice and if we would go closer here you can also see that the jetways have been modified and we will see that in all upcoming uh airports also which we're going to discuss right here's the jetway nicely with some baggage you can see that there's a lot of detail also if we go here you can see that the ventilators here are really detailed All right so nice warning signs also here we go up and down we can go to the other side of the building where we can see all the buses being parked so let's see if we can also can go inside the buildings uh, and see how that interior is being built. In some cases it's being done, but in other cases like this one is not being done. And you can see that the uh, jetway drives into the building, but there's nothing inside the building yet. Uh, it could be that they're still working on that. Uh, some other cases they will leave it as is. Let's speed up the drone a bit. And the other part we can see is several hangars, right? Several uh, parking spots also for other uh, tools. And of course, uh, the traffic tower. Uh, the traffic tower is a little bit weird in this situation. Uh, it looks exactly the same. So I'm not sure if it's, let's say, uh, a bug or this is an old one and this is a new one that's something i need to figure out or if somebody in the community knows uh let me know uh it could also be that this one is the default coming from flight simulator while this one is the custom one created uh so let's go and in go inside let's let me move the mouse pointer uh so we can nicely look over the airport uh there's no uh material in here or no computers or something and the same thing is for this tower. So I'd say from that angle, both uh, are pretty much the same. Uh, some uh, nice trucks, right? Since it's snowing a lot here to clean the uh, runway and also the taxiway, right? That's some, sometimes is needed. Oh, go upstairs. And the small aircraft being parked here, right? So you can see it's really nicely close to a lake, probably a fjord. As we call as they call it in uh, Norway, really nice, uh, really a lot of details being added by this custom created uh, community add on. This was airport number five on the list of the top five. So let's see which one is on spot number four. And the airport on spot number four is Tavanger Lufthavn Sola which is the extra or which is the additional name right you can see that there's some uh, maintenance being performed uh close to the airport right the large cranes over there probably extending the airport uh this is the uh, main terminal right where you can see all the uh, jetways uh being connected to also uh, a traffic tower here on the other side so let's have a look further let's increase the speed a bit uh the oh wrong button <laughs> we'll speed it up a little bit further so on the other end right you can see that there are uh two uh runways and this is one and there's another one uh over there right you can see that the uh signs on the runway are really clear right so they're also even uh let's say uh signs here right uh about the maximum size of the uh, the aircraft uh if we go and have a look at the jetways 
we see that these are a little bit more detailed compared to the previous airport we looked at right here even uh, there are stairs here they are much lower here uh, and if we would go a little bit closer you can even see that there, there are really nice signs in it uh, so that I would say is a lot of nice stuff uh, it's always hard to and say navigate using a drone uh, the building itself doesn't contain a lot of information or a lot of uh, content as you can see um, so maybe that comes in the future but currently it does not have it uh, here's some other jetways uh, some smaller aircrafts and also some gates without uh, let's say without the jet jetway right so but a lot of detail also here also the nice buildings uh, the pylons right continue the trip and then we will find some trucks here standing and waiting for airports or three aircrafts to land then some parking spots here for the smaller aircrafts some hangars uh, not really big ones but big enough for the smaller aircrafts and then we have the traffic tower here right which will give you a nice overview of the airport itself looks like it's uh, divided into two spots right this is the first spot uh, nothing here and this is the second spot uh, probably where normally the traffic uh, traffic personnel is working right the hc personnel also detailed routes right so you can see 301 302 303 so it's easy to navigate this airport if you from a taxi pers perspective right now uh, you can also see the same uh same ones here right you can see the gates here so makes it easy to navigate um if we look at the other side it looks like there are some i would say partially maybe military air portal because these look like hangars right where they store jet fighters and this also looks military uh here's some smaller buildings on this side uh just as uh, the uh the airport on, on uh, spot number five it also is close to a lake or close to a fjord right so it's really nice it lays in a nice uh, nature right so if we go uh, a little bit higher you can see there's a lot of nature around us uh, including some let's say pretty close to a city which is uh, being uh, part of world update number x i don't know the exact number anymore but for those who are missing those buildings make sure that you install the uh, latest world update or at least the world update from the nordics I should say and i'd say it looks nice again this is a community build it's not the default airport from uh, flight simulator so you can find the download link in the description of this video and this is where we end the review of the airport which is on spot number four let's go to the airport which is on spot number three on spot number three we will find Trondheim Lufthaven Varnes uh, it also is a community airport right created by the community if we go a little bit higher we can again see water <laughs> yes again uh, close to the city uh, a lot of mountains around us uh, if we look from the top right we can see we have a clear view of the airport itself uh, it has one runway right uh, it, well it depends on how you count runways but these are the runways uh, the rest of a lot of taxi roads uh pretty large ones as you can see even going up to here uh some buildings over here uh but the most important pieces are let's say just below us so let's have a look at it uh you can see the usage on the runway and you can also see the clear signs here on the runway which makes taxiing and parking easier and that's also always what i like right if you've got clear signs it makes it so much easier uh you can see that there's some gloss here which might require some more attention but if we go inside just as the other two airports we don't see much uh the only airport which has buildings in or has items in it that will come into i would say a few minutes if we visit it then here you can see the uh, traffic tower right a small one also empty but if we want to have a great view from the airport we can look from this spot because this is probably the spot where you want to go if you want to have a closer look at the uh, surroundings going 
into this direction, we will find a nice hotel, right? So they've got their free advertising here uh, almost. And here's, I would say, yeah, looks like it's uh, normally maybe there's water here or something. I'm not sure. Does it end up in water? Does it look like? Uh, in some cases, it's also could be a real track, but I don't expect it to be honest. No, probably not. Uh, some other nice buildings here, right? Uh, terminal, some other large, I would say, hulls, probably for, uh, I'd say, cargo. If we continue our trip, we can see the large lights here. And we can see some smaller buildings, including the trucks which are waiting to the aircraft to arrive. Here we can find the hangar specifically for SES. And some other hangars are also here, but those are, I would say, unbranded. Uh, then there's a large building here, which is for the fire trucks, right? So even the fire trucks are here. Nicely modeled again. Looks, looks pretty cool. Three of them, maybe number four is driving around the airport. Sometimes they do that, right? Continuing our trip, we will find another big hangar here from Ready. And some other large buildings, which are, I'd say, I'm not sure where they're used for. Uh, runway ahead, clear signs also, nice runway, nice spot of the aircraft, or the airport, sorry, I should say. Uh, this again is a community build, uh, just as like the other two. So I will put a download link in the community or sorry, in the description of this video. And there you can download the airport yourself and give it a look yourself to see, okay, hey, do you like it? Yes or no? I think it's definitely one of the recommendations. This ends the review of number three. Let's go no to number two. On spot number two is Bergen Airport. Bergen Airport. Again, community build. Uh, it looks like that uh, Norway is pretty built or pretty, I'd say, favorite under the community, uh, which results in a lot of community airports. Uh, at this airport, this is, I would say, a smaller one. You can see that the uh, jetways are, I would say, a little bit different compared to the other two airports. Uh, the runways and the signs are pretty clear. Uh, on this side are, well, let's say, run jetways which are a little bit bigger but also different models compared to the uh, the other airports uh, but still very nice and still very detailed right uh, let's go up here really slow then we can have a look right let me slowly try to go upside i need to decrease the speed here because we're going too fast all right so let me decrease it goes faster and faster right that's not what we want in that case press the five key then we'll reset um, in addition to that there are some large buildings like hangars uh, added to the airport and of course the traffic tower and some smaller buildings it looks like this is some kind of private uh, private airport or something or some VIP airport because these are likely uh, I would say uh, VIP spots while this part of the airport which we're already view, reviewed a little bit ago is much larger with jetways and also I'd say normal trucks you can see that it's let's say kind of small because you can see that the uh, truck here is if you would look at the uh, size of the truck compared to the size of the rest of the buildings is let's say it's it's very small right also see that the uh, jetways are pretty small, but they're really detailed, including uh, the details here, right? You get the fire extinguisher, etc. Uh, the building itself doesn't contain a lot of information, uh, besides that you can look from the inside uh, of the wall, so you can look from the inside to the outside. But it's say there's some room for enhancements uh, once they, I would say, completely build the exterior of the airport right because in most cases we only uh, care about the exterior but sometimes you find some nice community add-ons which also are let's say spending time to make the interior looking really nice uh, the airport itself is i would say it's not a small one 
it's I would say a medium one. Uh, looking at the number of runways, however, it's not that big, right? It has so one runway, as you can see here. Again, close to the water, which is uh, I would say a common pattern which we're seeing for the runways. Uh, again, here's the VIP. As it looks like, there are a uh, few spots here, right, for uh, smaller aircrafts. Uh, like here, I was also standing a smaller one. Here's the uh, traffic tower. So it looks looks really nice. But let's now jump to number one. And well, number one will definitely surprise you. On spot number one is Oslo Airport. And as Roll already said, you will be surprised because this is probably one of the most beautiful community airports built, uh, I would say, in Norway. It has a lot of detail. All the jetways are completely customized. You can see there's a lot of detail, right? So you can see even advertising here. But you, if you look, say, at this, you would love it, right? There's a nice sign which shows you, okay, the aircraft type, the distance from uh, to the aircraft to the gate uh, i saw some uh, I, would still, I think it was a paid add-on which was even working on getting this one i would say being realistic or even counting down that would be really cool uh the nice thing about this airport however is that it also has a nice interior right so let's have a look at that not fire this way let's do it the easy way uh a while ago i also reviewed this airport right there's a lot of add-ons here there's an now chairs there are even signs right which show okay hey uh what's the departure time of the next aircraft and what's the destination and of course the operator and then so there are some nice options here to go to this side of the aircraft right you can see go to more station so really a lot of details inside the building also uh, if we go to the rest of the airport, you can see the same, I would say, details being added here, right? So you can see nice signs because that's always easy to figure out, hey, where do I need to park my aircraft? A lot of details here, including, I'd say, baggage trucks, uh, wagons, the buses, of course. And then here's the radar tower. also spend a lot of time on this one right you can see there's a lot of detail here it's really cool uh if we go to the other end right let's speed up a bit we can see the the same uh let's say jetways as on the other end uh and that is i would say it's being applied continuously or constantly uh across all the uh gates which are available here's our red light red light zone <laughs> it's a u.s airplane but the thing i really like is the, the level of detail right you can see here the detail on the gate right so gate uh emergency switches really clear signs here and also if we go to the other end oh a little bit too quick they can also see i would say the advertising right which is i would say which makes it even more realistic right <laughs> welcome to oslo home of norway or home of norwegian so this is probably the part where norwegian normally uh, parks their aircrafts so a lot of cool things here so the cool thing is that it also has i would say this part right where you can drop your uh friends or family and uh wish them a safe travel also really detailed here's the traffic tower which is really high uh not sure if they have spent some time on this one i don't think they didn't do it yet no not yet no cool view uh over there we can see the i would say train station right train station with a high speed train to uh to the city itself and then we can continue to the, let's say, smaller size of the airport, uh, which is also has the smaller uh, gates. Uh, it also has no jetways, right? So you need to walk into the aircraft. Uh, 
what do we have more? Well, a lot of terminal buildings, including for the known, I would say, package delivery services. You can see the C-17 here, also a really nice aircraft. And another one. And a large uh, hangar, followed by another large hangar, right? So if we go into the air, we can see a few depots. We can see runways here. Right, it's just one of the runways, but if we would look a little bit further, we should also see another runway. Oh, that's on that end. Here you can see the other runway. And really a lot of details, including on the taxiways. You can see all the level of detail. So a lot of time ha has been spent on optimizing this aircraft. And the good thing is that they're still spending time on fixing things, right? Lights here on the runway, which are, I would say, blinking. Really cool. This is really definitely one of my favorite aircrafts or airports which they created. Uh, and the good thing is that it, again, is a community add-on, right? So you can download it for free. You will find the download link in the description of this video. Here ends this add-on spotlight where we looked at the top five busiest airports in Norway. All of them are community builds, so that's good for you good for me because you can download them from flightsim.2 and you that will not cost you any money right you can simply try them for free if you don't like them you can remove them but i definitely think that some of the eu will at least install one of these airports here is this video i hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you got questions or comments then feel free to post them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date about new videos i'm posting then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel Thanks for watching and see you next time.